Some updates out of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we had Dr. Umar Johnson uh, come through. Uh, you know, this is the Gullah Geechee, the largest Gullah Geechee capital. Uh, and we've got a large Caribbean connection. So Dr. Umar came and shared his contacts and ideas. So we got a strong connection, stronger connection to Jamaica, uh, Uganda with the Choisy Empire, and also Madagascar Kingdom uh, movements. That So we got a strong connection between Jamaica, Uganda, and Madagascar. Uh, Gascar, and also we're working on Haiti, Nigeria, and <clears throat> the whole Indo-European or uh, Eurasia contact with uh, the Biafra Republic government in exile. They have a lot of, they got a referendum going on. They're starting to take statistics, uh, starting to run, a, uh, put together the apparatus to run their own states. Um, we're looking, I'm looking at a village. Oh, wait, let me see. I'm looking at the, let's see, Haiti, Nigeria, and also the Biafra Republic government in exile. Seeing all of those villages, uh, the black people in India. We're seeing if we can make a, a chain. Haiti, uh, the kingdoms in Nigeria that we're working with, and the Biafra Republic government in exile in Eurasia and in South, Southern India. So we're, we're just working on a chain of communities and uh, traveling or seeing where we could travel to and institute this whole new brand, new UNIA movement. And we'll be right in the way of the Igbo, Biafra, you know, f that flexible movement right now. So, uh, and the Bantu connection a federation out of Nigeria and Igbo land and Biafra. We're writing all those, we're putting everything together we've been talking to and are trying to address for years. Um, the Sahel Alliance, you know, uh, Mali Republic, Burkina Faso, that's mostly the Mali Empire. Niger, you have the Hausa, Kanem Bornu that extends into Libya and S Sudan and some say have the, say the Nubian Egyptians. And Kanori and Kanembu are all uh, basically the same people. Some say that. So we have a strong East African connection in the Sahel Alliance. And with that movement, you know, some of the ethnic groups and uh, cultures and those countries are all tangled in together. And they say they're not getting, um, they're not, uh, they accuse ECOWAS of not practicing uh, Pan-Africanism. No, we know West Africa and uh, the African-centered communities are for having a strong connection to Black America and repatriation and citizenship. But, you know, having the diaspora ethnic group come back and get citizenship, that's not addressing all the issues of what people would call Pan-Africanism. So, you know, Mali is named after the Mali Empire and the Mande tribe, Mali, Mande, interchangeable. So they said they weren't basically they weren't benefiting and they've always had that aspiration to create the Mali empire or the United States of Africa with Mali. Or, so they said that the foundation of coming together has gone away and they're making their own confederation. So they're basically challenging the borders and the, uh, the artificial borders and the legitimacy of the governments, uh, that remained in ECOWAS and on the grounds of Pan-Africanism. We're seeing different ethnic groups and border communities in Northern Nigeria now say that they, they're, they're the same people. The lines were drawn by colonial boundaries. You know, they're, they're suffering through sanctions uh, because they're border communities, they're in the traffic and the sanctions are affecting their business and their families. So uh, we're seeing a lot of changing the narrative as far as uh, the colonial identity and borders and people are now saying it's artificial and <clears throat> the federation of the Sahel Alliance trying to create their own country. Um, I know a lot, a lot of it's probably on paper and it's bluff, but it's how it's, there's a unique dynamic where people are questioning everything. Uh, they're changing up the Berlin conference arrangement 
So that's what's going on. But we're working on Haiti, Jamaica. You know, we have our capitals in the USA with the AME churches, activists, and neighborhoods. You know, we have churches everywhere. So we're just building a net here that could travel uh, to the places we mentioned. And we're also keeping an eye on the Sahel Alliance and what's going on. So it's a, it's a lot going on. But we'll, we'll keep updating people and uh, stay active as always. So that's our update.